So my very first books I wrote were in fifth grade. My fifth grade teacher was Mrs. Lenz, and she was the first person who would hand me back my papers with stars and good writing. And I would say it was the first time that I felt recognized for something that came out of my own, own imagination. In my 20s, I was recovering from brain surgery and had a bunch of downtime. And so I ended up starting to uh, write and paint thank you cards for people. And then my first book out of that was The Gift of an Angel. So I wrote and illustrated and self-published that book. And it was really just a way to give voice to something that felt very personal to me. And I was really moved that people wanted to use my words to celebrate something significant in their life. teacher once said to me that she felt like a better me after reading one of my books and I loved that quote and I would say that I want kids to feel more loved. Mm -hmm. um, I would say the most common feedback I get is parents saying that my books give them a way to communicate what they feel. Whether it's they're looking how to encourage their kids, or to tell them they love them, or to explain their adoption story, my books are a bridge to that. That I've managed to give them the words to say that. And so if someone feels more loved, or more seen, or more encouraged after reading one of my books, that's such a gift back to me. Like when I get an email back that says, you know, we, we memorize the first part of your book, the I love you, how much, so much, how much is so, way, way more than you know. My kids and I say that to each other every day. Yeah, that like my words <laughs> have found a way into people's lives is, is just the greatest joy back to me. Oh my gosh, so I have four kids and they're um, 21, 20, 17 and 15 now, mm -hmm. uh, and I will recite my own books to them. I'll be like, if I can keep you little, and they're like, yeah, yeah, we know. Um, I would say we read Are You My Mother with the bird, the baby bird. Mm -hmm. We would read The Giving Tree was a favorite. There was this really obscure book called Walter, or Ronald Morgan Goes to Camp. It was this little paperback book about this real awkward kid who went to camp. For some reasons, my kid, we read that thing to death. Um, yeah, I'm trying to remember. I mean, it was the same old drill, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> sometimes I'd skip some pages. Because I was tired! There were four of them! <laughs> Well, there are such messages of love to begin with, and you put someone's name in there, and I think that just heightens that, that bond. Yeah, I think that, again, makes people feel like you're talking straight into their heart when you use their name.